cellular phones are big sellers this holiday season, but they've also been a favorite of thieves. And unlike a stolen credit card, the victim could be responsible for the charges. Erica Wildner reports. You could be responsible for every call that these people make. Once you have realized it's gone, they can send you to bankruptcy, I guess, pretty quick. One thief called Ecuador, El Salvador, Ethiopia, and Saudi Arabia on a stolen phone, racking up $1,600 worth of calls in just two days. Another crook made hundreds of calls before the owner noticed the phone was missing. It happens in every city, every day. It's progressed a lot with... Um, the 152 thefts we have had this year, that's double what it was last year. And I would hate to think what it could be next year. Even Lakewood Police spokesperson Lynn Kimbrough is a victim. I, I wasn't angry. It was my own fault. I left without making sure I had the cell phone. So it was very embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, I felt pretty stupid. Angela Trujillo lost her phone, too, and she's still paying for it. What really aggravated me, though, is that I knew where I left it and I was pretty sure I knew who took it and I couldn't really do anything about it. Cell phone theft is a crime that's almost impossible to solve. Police can call the stolen cell phone to try to find out where the thief is, but all the crooks have to do is hang up and police will probably never find them. The bad guys are almost never caught, so it's up to you to keep track of your phone. Remembering their cell phone is probably not the most important thing they think about, but they sure will think about it if they become a victim because it's very inconvenient and very costly. That was Erica Wilner reporting. That's too bad. There's a high price to pay for all this technology, oh my Tanya. goodness, it's a shame, especially during the holiday season. Yeah. It hurts a little more. Back with more Nightside in just a moment. Hello, everybody.